Hey everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. We're going on with our series on Node.js and the server setup for that. And so far we've created our Node server with Nest.js. We've added GraphQL. And now I want to take you guys through adding a little bit of configuration. Before we get into actually connecting to our database and pulling data uh, from our database into our server, I figured it would be a good time to look at uh, configuration inside of our Node.js application, inside of Nest.js as uh, it does have some pretty easy ways of setting up uh, configuration. So let's get started and we're gonna uh, load up our Nest.js documents here. Let me pull that right over here. And on our Nest.js documents, we've got under techniques, uh, there's a configuration document. And so we're gonna look at this, we're gonna utilize this .env file and it's gonna hold our key value pairs but then we're also going to import that right into our TypeScript and be able to utilize it in using this config service. So let's get started by adding this library, the nest.js config. So open up your terminal and yarn add nest.js config. This is going to add this package to our project. Great, now let's hop over to our project and in source, we're gonna to go to modules, app modules, and we're gonna add our config module here. So we're gonna import our config um, module from uh, nest.js config. And then we're going to import that here, config module. And then we're gonna do for root. And we're gonna add a uh, setting here in a second. Uh, what we're gonna do first is create this folder here for config. And then we're going to add a new file in here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it um, app.ts. So it's my app config. And in here, uh, you can go back over to the document because you're going to see uh, if you scroll down a little bit to custom configuration files, uh, we can add the, uh, the configuration here to a TypeScript file that we can utilize later and make it just a little bit easier to uh, understand in our application. You can also set default values if it doesn't exist and, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna use something like that. So we're gonna export default and then uh, it's gonna be a function, which is, oh, let's do the right function. It's gonna return an object and we're gonna call ours database URI. Uh, we're using a Postgres uh, database. So we'll have a full URL there that we can use. And so database URI, and then we're going to use the uh, process dot environment dot uh, database uh, URI. Now you're going to see where this comes in when we create our dot env file, which we can do right now. Uh, that's going to be on the root. So close up your folders, create a new file. It'll be dot env. Great. And then here you can put the same key in. So database URI, all caps. And then we're going to paste in our Postgres URL and save that. So now that's going to go into this file here and then here in our app module we're going to load that uh, into our uh, config module so configuration let's go ahead and import that configuration from config app and now that's going to load that into our custom configuration perfect so what we can do next is go ahead and create a service which we will use in our next uh, upcoming videos uh, to actually connect to the database. So in our service, let's use uh, bulletin.service.ts. And in our services, uh, let's see here, we're gonna go ahead and use the injectable uh, tag and we're gonna export a class. It's going to be the bulletin service and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna write a basic uh, function here that we're going to update in our next video um, but we're just gonna show you the way to get the config from your uh, your environment so to do that we create a uh, constructor uh, we'll make it public and in the constructor we're going to set a private uh, read only variable the config service 
and it's going to be of a config service type which you can import so import config service from the nest.js config package all right and then we can go ahead and create a function i'll make it a sync no, we don't need to make it async yet. We will make it async uh, in the next video. So public uh, get bulletins and it will return a, let's see, a bulletins response uh, that is created from our GraphQL that we did in our last video. And to speed this up, I'm just going to come over here. We created this return object here. Uh, so I'm just gonna move that over here. Uh, but we're going to console log out our database connection. So let's do a const db URI equals this dot config service dot get, and then use the uh, string value of what you created here in the config. So we use database URI, so let's paste that into here, and then you can console log out the database URI. Now we're gonna see that in the console. When this is called, this isn't being called yet, so let's hop over here to the resolvers, and right here where we have our to-dos, let's get rid of those and add in a private read-only bulletin service. And we're going to import that in uh, from the uh, services and bulletin service. And then here's where we're going to call our bulletin service. So we can just do this by doing return uh, await this dot, uh, oh, I forgot to add name to it bulletin service, there we go, dot get bulletins, perfect. Yeah, this, this doesn't need to be like that. All right, so now we need to add the service to our providers here, just like we did our resolver in the last video, bulletin service. Great, and now let's give it a shot. Let's yarn start our application. It's a little slow this evening. There it goes. All right, now our application's up and running, so let's get over here to our GraphQL Playground. Let's refresh it. And awesome, let's run this. We get the same results as we did before. And now in our console, we have the database URI for our Postgres database that we're gonna use in the future videos to actually get the data from our database. So there you have it. That's how simple it is to add configuration to your Node server using Nest.js. So again, uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I really do hope that you continue watching with us as we continue on this path. Thanks for watching.